it's a Word or actually it's a PDF document. On the bottom, my name, my signature, and date. So this ensures participants produce a real signed consent form and ensures compliance with current regulations about collecting electronic data. Finally, if you look on the right side of the screen, back on the mobile app, we see the dashboard that I talked about earlier. I published a single survey that launched one time, no repeating surveys, um, no other activities. So I've completed that. It says it's 100% complete. And of course, because I did things on time, my adherence is also 100%. Looking at the resources, you still see the three default resources about the study, consent PDF, and leave. But you also see the custom one, additional information about physical activity. And it looks like I was abbreviating about, but the beauty of the system is I can go in and fix it right now. So the final thing to do as part of this live demo is add a new question. excuse me, add a new survey. So on the right-hand side, you can see there's a copy button. And just like that, I've copied the existing survey and I could add questions, delete questions, um, modify any existing questions. As I already submitted the first physical activity survey, I'm making a new survey to illustrate the ease with which you could add a question to an existing survey. I now have two in the list, physical activity and physical activity two. I'm going to edit physical activity two. And I'm going to add a question type that we haven't seen so far, a Likert scale. So same elements, same metadata elements that you've seen in the other questions. Scale style question, to what extent do you agree with this statement? I enjoy working in a gym, working out in a gym setting. My response type in this case is text scale. I'll save as draft and then I'll configure my response options by okay, clicking on response level attributes.
now I'm configuring all of the options available in the scale question. All right. We have just four options in the interest of time. Um, but you can add, via this plus button, as many response options as you may need for a particular question type. You can now see at the bottom of the list of questions, there's another question, question five. To what extent do you agree with this statement? I enjoy working out in a gym setting. I again want this questionnaire to launch one time with the study and last for the duration of the study. So I'll save this section. I'll click done. And then I'll click mark as completed. Now everything else already has a checkbox since we've already published a survey. Um, so now all I have to do is go down to actions. And before I click publish, I want to show both the, de the WCP and the app at the same time so we can kind of see this happen in real time. So now on the right-hand side, we're looking at the study activity list within the webinar demo study. There's the one survey I've already completed. As the researcher, when I click publish updates on the left-hand side, it tells me the updates have been successfully published. Okay. And now that survey is available in the mobile application. And we've, of course, seen most of these questions. So I'll scroll through them a little bit quicker this time to get to the new question that wasn't in the previous survey. And now we see an example of a scale. This is oriented vertically, but it could be oriented horizontally. And participants can drag the dot up and down using their finger to indicate their selection. Now I'm going to cancel out of this and save for later. And you can see the new status is resume. It lets me know I started it. I decided to save it for later. Um, and it will pick up where I left off, where I tapped Save. So that concludes the demonstration. Uh, thanks, everyone, for sticking with us through those technical issues. Uh, hopefully, this gave you a good idea of how the system works, how all the pieces fit together, um, and how simple it is to configure and publish a study that's made available to participants in the mobile app. Now, we're going to take a break. 
Thank you, Zach. I was so glad you were able to come back and give us that live demo. Uh, we are going to take just a quick two-minute break here to get situated with the questions that come in. And at 1140 as scheduled, we will start the Q&A session. <laughs> 